Right, before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so all you got to do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description, and uh, like that video, and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards or PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V-Bucks or anything, so yeah, just do that, and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you, mates. Right guys, we're back to another video, so as you can tell my title, today I'm going to be building a Brazilian sweaty team and it's around 50k, so I bought it for 45k, but I think the market is uh, like going up, so yeah, we're in early access of FIFA, so Brazil Sweat is the team name, uh, and yeah, we're going to be going for, it's the 4-4-3-4 four, 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 four variation, bit of a tongue twister, there it is, um, and it's obviously the one with two centre mids and a cam, and then the right wing, left wing striker. So, I'm going to just go through and each position, just tell you a little bit about the player. So, obviously Brazilian, it's all Brazilian, this team. And uh, in goal is Neto, so, um, transferred to Valencia. I think I, I think he transferred uh, this season, but bought for 6.4k, so, uh, pretty good for an 84 rated Brazilian La Liga keeper. Six games played, I've either played six or, f I think I played five of two of them, because uh, of one injury and one red card. Uh, six foot three, traditional save technique and right footed. Obviously, the weak foot two star doesn't really matter, but there's his stats. And right now, it's saying minus 13 because of the chemistry, but obviously, you'll get a uh, 10km after loyalty. So, yeah, that's in goal, and he's a very solid, solid keeper. You want to look for like uh, reflexes and uh, height on your keeper and stuff like that. Uh, left back, putting uh, Dalbert into the team. I bought Dalbert mainly looking at his pace and his. Uh, and his um, uh, Left foot, I like a left foot on uh, the like left backs and left wingers sometimes, but mainly left backs. I want I want a left foot. I just I don't know. I just prefer that. And then he's got seventy one defending, seventy one physical, which doesn't look great, but uh, you can obviously uh, I've lob. I think I've got what what um, backbone. That's the one, and it gives him boost in defending and physical. So uh, yeah, pretty solid uh, left back overall. Five foot eleven. It's not too bad. Go over to the right back, and this one uh, is a little bit less slow, more like a defending one. He's right footed, uh, four star skill moves, which I didn't even notice. He's a little bit smaller, but then also uh, great physical stats. As you can see, 82 stamina, and and uh, just an all round great stats on the right back, Raphael. 60 shooting, obviously, is the lowest stats, but apart from that, everything's above 74, so pretty decent. I haven't got a chemistry style on him, but you obviously can. So, uh, yeah, there's the left and right backs. Centre backs, it doesn't matter which way because they're both right footed. But uh, I'm going to put in the left one as Gabriel Polista and Juan Jesus in the right one. That's how I've been playing with it and it's worked fine. I've got a shadow, I think it's a shadow, yeah, shadow on um, Gabriel because uh, I just wanted to boost his pace a little bit more. And obviously that increases defending as well. So six foot two, low high, which is brilliant. So he's going to be attacking like hardly ever attacking and the defence in. Defending, uh, defending uh, a lot, so that's what you want from your centre backs. Right footed, 73 pace, which is already great, but I put shadow on him. And 83 defending, 80 physical is great, and uh, just great defending stats overall. So, yeah, that great centre back. And then this one, uh, Juan Jesus, put him for uh, basically 4k. He actually got me a goal, it was a header off a nice corner. Uh, again, low high, 6 foot 1, pretty decent, and uh, great pace for a centre back. That's what. Uh, Obviously, you want a little bit of pace and good defending and physical. So, uh, it's actually a CDM in this left centre mid. You can change around, but this is how I've done it. It's not obviously this guy. It's going to be Luis Gustavo. He's been around for so long. Always a, always a great card, to be honest. Obviously, the pace isn't much, but then CDM, as a CDM, uh, the defending and physical is great. I've got him in left centre mid. And uh, medium high, so he's going to stay back more than he attacks. Six foot two, which is nice. Left footed. I've got him on the left side of the pitch, and he's only 1.5k. Don't know if that's changed by much, but he got me a goal, and I'm going to show you that goal at the end of the video. It's, it's the best goal I've scored on FIFA so far, so uh, yeah, I'll show you that at the end. Uh, overall, just a great card. Then centre mid, he actually is a centre mid. Uh, it's Allen. He has also always been a great card. He's also going to stay back, but he, I feel like he moves up a little bit more. I don't know. But uh, he's also got a little bit more pace. And then 95 stamina, which I've noticed. He's literally running around the whole game. Good aggression. Nice agility. Stuff like that. It just uh, makes a good centre mid. And then, obviously, 
everything above 75 apart from his shooting, which I don't, I didn't even notice. I think he might have got me a goal actually. Yeah, he did. He got me a goal and a yellow card. Okay, so that is uh, two of the sentiments done. Now we're onto the cam, and this cam is literally amazing. This is Anderson Taliska. I think I'm saying that right. But high medium, so he's going to attack. That's what we want from your cam. But it's uh, six foot three. You can notice that he wins a lot of headers. And then where you want, uh, what you want off your uh, cam is obviously a good uh, weak foot, and that is what he's got: four star weak foot and four star skill moves. If you're someone to skill, four star uh, skill moves is actually decent. And then obviously left footed with, uh, and you can use his right. And then his stats are just all around uh, pretty decent. I think I've what have I got on him? Is it engine? Yeah, engine, so pace, dribbling, and passing. And you can just notice how like his presence in the game is so tall for a cam 6 foot 3. I don't know, he's just amazing. 2k, great uh, great buy for that. And then he obviously got me 4 goals and 3 assists in the 6 games I've played with him. Which have been division rivals, by the way. I uh, just want to put that out there. So, uh, yeah, not, not like uh, squad battles. Left wing, which is one of the star players in the team. Vinicius Jr. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It could be like Vinicius. I'm not sure if how you pronounce the first part, but obviously Junior. I know I'm saying that right. So obviously transferred to Real Madrid. He's a brilliant left wing. And then this is where it stands out: four star weak foot and five star skill moves. And I'm I just flick the stick, uh, just like fiddle with it and try and do skill moves. But it seems to work. His agility. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I was gonna say 90 agility. You can definitely notice that. And then 92 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. He's always, you can just feel him around the pitch, uh, like uh, skilling players and stuff. And then obviously the uh, dribbling, 81. I think it might get boosted a little bit. Where is it? Dribbling. Uh, his dribbling plus four, yeah, 81. So he'll be on 85. And you can definitely feel that. He got me two goals and three assists. But he's always uh, in the right place at the right time. So yeah, we're going to go on to the right wing now. Oh, that's left wing. Right wing is Malcolm, so uh, I think Malcolm's price has gone up a bit, 6k, I think it's about 7k now, but medium medium, that is the only downfall of this card, then left footed, which I would prefer right, but uh, like if these two were switched, you could do that in game, but I haven't bothered to do that, but then also, he's got 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, so not 5 star, but 4 star is still decent on his skill moves, and then weak foot is perfect, because you can shoot with his right or left, and 79 shooting for a wing is actually decent. So if you look at his shooting, he's got great shot power, good long shots, and then uh, pretty bad penalties, but you don't don't need uh, penalties if you've got someone else who can take them. Agility is 96 with uh, basic chem style, and 9 chem. Ball control, uh, 9, 80, 89, sorry, and dribbling 89, so he's just all around great card. With 7k, I think, not many, uh, apart from Hulk, but he's extinct. Not many great uh, Brazilian right wings you can get there, so... Up front, probably uh, already guessed it, Brazilian team, he's in the Chinese league, and uh, he's coming to FIFA, Alex Texiera, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but what a card this is, he's literally so good, 91 pace, 76 shooting, 82 dribbling, and even 73 passing, 71 physical isn't even that bad, and then obviously you can feel that acceleration, I've got, I haven't even got a chem style on him, and he's just uh, great stats, agility 94, ball control 85, dribbling 80, 84, Good composure, his jumping's great, his stamina's great. He's just always there in the game. And everyone's on 9 chem apart from Luis Gustavo. I haven't bothered to change him to centre mid, but he's playing absolutely fine. Could do that if you want. And obviously when you get loyalty, which I haven't for anyone, you obviously get them all onto 10 chem. Actually, the keeper is on 10 chem. I'm not sure how he gets 10 chem. Uh, but yeah, so that is everyone. I haven't got a manager. I suppose if I get a Brazilian manager, everyone would be on 10. I could actually do that, but... It says 99 because that's what it is, 10 and an 8 minus in uh, 2 from him, but add in the 1 and then 11 times 9. So that's what uh, how this team works out. And overall, the like summary of this is everyone can shoot their left foot or their right foot. Because uh, I forgot to say, actually, um, high medium, so he's obviously going to attack more right footed and he's 4 star, 4 star. So another 4 star, 4 star. So if we look for the team, we've got... A weak foot of four stars and uh, skill moves five star. And we've got four star, four star. And we've got another four star, four star, and then another four star, four star, and then I think it goes downhill here. Three star, three star. But then Allen has four star uh, skill moves and three star weak foot. But overall, the team seems to just play it's so balanced. So we've got Luis Gustavo staying back, 
Allen or uh, attacking sometimes. I, I feel like he's attacking, but it says high uh, defensive. This uh, Taliska always stays up, and then the wingers are always out wide, and you can uh, cut in with their skill moves and stuff like that. So, yeah, the fullbacks seem to stay back uh, uh, against what their like things say. And then the bench, you can put anyone on the bench. Obviously, it's up to you. Uh, I think I've got a few loans in my club. Let's take away Brazil, sorry. Uh, this is uh, going to lag out, maybe, potentially. No, right, let's get rid of Brazil. And uh, a few players I like to bring on. Yarmolenko in form. I've kept him just in case he goes up. Uh, Jonathan Vieira has a nice card. Also, uh, if I find him, here he is, Morega. He has 88 pace and 80 shooting and 88 physical. The high medium and uh, right footed. He's actually decent. Uh, Brozovic, they're like the four main players I bring on. If I obviously uh, can't, but like if I want to uh, bring on players, and then you can just have anyone to be honest. Um, just literally anyone, anyone you want. Tar, Vegsa, and Quartes. I'm just gonna put them on. So that that is the team. Obviously the bench. Like I said, you can put anyone. And now I'm gonna quickly show you this goal. If we go over to my captures, recent captures, and have a look at this goal. This is literally what I don't know how he did it, but this is what Luis Gustavo did in the game for me. So. Uh, pretty bad quality, but whip the ball over Lucas Luz Gustavo over to Vinicius Junior, and then oh, bang! <laughs> I don't know how he did that. So obviously LT plus the B uh, gives you a skill shot. So it was up in the air. So we decided to do a bicey. We we'll watch that one more time actually. If we uh, go off it, and oh, it says we've lost connection. Oh, hang on. Let's watch it one more time. It's just absolutely great goal. I loved it and. That's why I uh, recorded it, but yeah, so Luis Gustavo plays it over to the left, he whips it back in, open space, bang, off the crossbar and in, and they even uh, check for goal line technology, but it actually does count, so uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for not only. Peace.